Hello, I'm Detective William Murdoch. As you can see, Station House 4 has some unexpected guests tonight. A great fire is raging through the streets of Toronto, and some members of the Toronto Symphony Orchestra have taken temporary refuge in our humble police station. In the early days of COVID, back in you know March and April, um, it was really clear that cultural organizations and groups really had to get together and do something. And Matthew Loden, who's the CEO of the Toronto Symphony, called me one day early in May and said, Christina, I have a crazy idea. What if we brought the Toronto Symphony to some of your studios and we shot with a small ensemble inside your studios, like Murdoch? We were able to do a collaboration with our fabulous composer, Rob Carley, and he was able to put together a little medley of music that people will sort of hear in 14 years of Murdoch. The show is set in the Victorian era, and we were trying to find, you know, straddling the world between what Victorian Toronto sounded like, but also trying to look at kind of an industrial revolution kind of sound. And that led us down a couple of different roads. I like to think of the music as akin to, you know, great set design or great lighting or uh, photography, all of the things that make up the experience of the show without really, uh, you know, detracting from the narrative or um, drawing attention to themselves. So augmenting the scenes and the drama and the tension uh, or the emotional content of the show without necessarily drawing attention to yourself. The best music for movies and television are, are often the ones you don't notice it goes by and it helps you to feel something. It helps to bring home a moment without taking you out of it. So it's a delicate balance. I think it's very important. Uh, score is, is just as important as all of the uh, foley, all of the added sounds that were not necessarily recorded on the day. Uh, just like the actor speaking, it's, it's an equal, um, integral. Integral, I believe, is the word I was looking for. See, I'm not as smart as Murdoch. I just pretend to be.